In question 9 of this exercise, we have to observe the adjoining figure that you see here and then we have to answer all these questions. So let's go through each of the questions one by one. So the first question is, is angle 1 adjacent to angle 2? So let me highlight these two angles for you. Angle 1 is this angle here and angle 2 is this angle here. So these two angles clearly have uh, this common arm OC and their non-common arms OA and OE, they are on the opposite sides of OC. So we can clearly see that angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent angles. So the answer for the first part is yes, the two angles are adjacent. Okay, now in the second question, in the second statement we have is angle AOC adjacent to angle AOE? So once again, let me highlight these two angles. Angle AOC is this angle, which is again angle 1. But angle AOE is this whole angle that you see. So we can see that angle AOC is actually a part of angle AOE. Uh, the other way to say this is that if you observe angle AOC and angle AOE, they have a common arm which is OA but their non-common arms which are OC and OE they are on the same side of the common arm OA. So clearly these two angles are not ad adjacent so the answer for part 2 is no. Okay now we come to part 3 in which the statement says do angles COE and EOD form a linear pair. So let's highlight these two angles. Angles COE which is this angle here and angle EOD. Angle EOD is this whole angle here and clearly we can see that these two angles uh, complete the straight angle on the line COD and hence these two angles will form a linear pair. So the answer for part 3 is yes. Okay, then we come to part 4 in which the statement says, the question says, are angle BOD and angle DOA supplementary? So supplementary means their sum should be 180 degrees. So let's look at these two angles. Angles BOD, which is this angle here, and angle DOA. DOA is this angle here. And clearly these two angles complete the straight angle on this line which is AOB. So they form a linear pair of angles and hence their sum will be 180 degrees. So they will be supplementary. So the answer in part 4 is yes, these two angles are supplementary. Okay, then we come to statement 5, question number 5 which is, is angle 1 vertically opposite to angle 4? So let's look at these two angles closely. Angle 1 is this angle and angle 4 is this angle. So it's immediately obvious that these two angles form a pair of vertically opposite angles uh, because if you look at the lines AB which is this line and CD which is this line, uh, these two lines intersect at O and at this point O, these two angles 1 and 2, they 1 and 4 they form a pair of vertically opposite angles. So the answer for part 5 is yes, angle 1 is vertically opposite to angle 4. Alright, then finally we come to the last question, question 6, which says what is the vertically opposite angle of angle 5? Okay, so angle 5 is this angle here and this is the angle that's formed uh, between the lines AOB and COD uh, with the intersection point at O. So the vertically opposite angle to this angle will be this whole angle that we see here which is angle 2 plus angle 3 or which we can also write as angle BOC. Okay, So this angle that I have highlighted, uh, this angle, this is angle BOC and hence the answer for question number 6 is BOC is the vertically opposite angle to angle 5. So you can write it as BOC or COB. So that completes question 6 and with this we have completed all the parts of question number 9. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap. 
a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.